Hey guys, here's a video review of my Aero Precision rifle that I built. Um, standard Aero Precision's stripped lower and they're monolithic mid length upper. Pretty awesome. Um, as you can see here, it's their X15 lower. I'll go ahead and break it down. Alright, the lower here, um, just standard strip lower, I got a strip or a lower build kit for it, comes with all this mag pole furniture, a tube, plunger tube, all the internals. Uh, I eventually plan to put an organ ambidextrous safety on it as well as the badass selector switch. I am left handed, so I'll probably actually get rid of this and put one over here. Um, might actually get the extended takedown pins as well, but for now it, it does the job. The upper here, I have, uh, do not have a bolt carrier, I actually ordered that about an hour ago. I'm going to go with the WMD Nickel Boron Bolt Carrier Group, full auto. Really doesn't matter, but I wanted something a little better. Um, as you can see here, this is the mid-length monolithic. It is a completely free float system. I have a 16 inch Daniel Defense Cold Hammer Forge 1 7 twist with a Wilson Combat AccuTac 3, plong, 3 prong flash suppressor. This barrel is a tack driver. This is my first build. I've had a bunch of people tell me do not go cheap on the barrel. So this is a $375 barrel and it throws maybe an, an inch grouping at 100 yards. It's amazing. And I'm not a good shooter at all. So. The great thing about this system is the rails do themselves come out. You can see these screws here on the bottom. And you can swap out this rail for a half rail, which I have here on the bottom. Or you can do a completely blank rail with quick swivel mounts here. Uh, so it's got that. I have the Rainier Arms Ambidextrous Raptor. I absolutely love this thing. Get it out of here one handed. This is the greatest charging handle ever. It's uh, about 90 bucks. I got mine from Joe Bob's, cheapest place at the moment. Um, I mean, it's just a regular charging handle. I like the latches. I'm not a fan of standard charging handles. I tend to charge my rifle differently instead of going overhand and pulling it back. I usually use the palm of my hand and charge it that way. So, it does its job. Get that back in there. Um, it comes with the dust cover and the Ford Assist pre-built. Um, this is not the blemish model, this is the, uh, the cheaper one. So it came with only a few rails instead of all of them. Up top I've got the Bushnell Trophy 1x32 red dot. This is actually a really good red dot if you like the ACOG style. It's a uh, matte finish. It's got very good quality. I love this thing. A little on the heavy side, but it's got backup irons up top, which are kind of redundant if I got Magpul and bus sights. I'm going to turn it on here. It's got a T dot reticle, red and green. Excellent red dot. I actually have not shot the rifle with this yet. I'm waiting on my bolt carrier to come in. So apart from that, um, the great thing about this setup is uh, the barrel nut, you can't really see it too well, it's right there. You don't have to align it with the gas tube. You go ahead and put your gas block on the rifle or the barrel here. And you go ahead and put the gas tube in, go ahead and stick the gas tube in there and install the gas tube and barrel assembly in and it just goes right into the upper. There's no lining up anything, and then you just torque down the nut. To torque it down, you take these three rails off, the left, right, bottom. So you torque it down, you don't have to line anything on the gas tube, which is great. And then you just put the rails back on, and you've got a complete upper receiver. Great system. You can see the gas tube here, I get some light in there. Um, currently I have the Magpul Ford grip on it. 
I'm going to go switch it out with a Rainier Arms uh, Fortis. I don't think Rainier makes it actually, but Fortis Shift Grip. Maybe if you are familiar with it, that's what I'm going to end up going with. And uh, apart from that, that's just my Aero Precision's review here. Great quality product. I love their product. Um, I'm a pilot myself, so coming from an aeronautical standpoint, you know, I know they've got quality aircraft aluminum grade stuff. And this is my first build. I don't have much experience with ARs, but the fit and finish and everything, they're the same colors. I'm not sure whoever wants to, you know, do different manufacturing uppers and lowers. I'm not sure if it's going to match colors, but these just match perfectly. You can get these Cerakoted in different 